Lives of Our Saints. On the 22nd of July, our church celebrates the feast day of St. Margiela of Hios. The following are some thoughts on her life and works. Born in the 16th century, Margiela of Chios possessed great physical beauty, exceeded only by the purity of her spirit and sweet soul. Her family was one of prominence on the island and she was given an advantage, including that available to anyone, a place in the kingdom of God through Jesus Christ. The entire island soon came to know the intensity of her religious beliefs, but no one was the least bit aware of the divine spark in this pretty Greek girl. Her closeness to God went undetected as she prayed with the townspeople in church and in her daily meditations in contemplation with the Holy Spirit. After the death of her devout mother, Margiela withdrew from social pursuits in order to devote herself completely to the service of Christ, choosing to emerge from seclusion only for church attendance and for, for whatever charitable work she could do for the community. It could be concluded that she did not seek the sanctity of a nunnery out of great fear of her father, who had become increasingly irritated by her complete devotion to Christ. An avowed agnostic, her father's mental state worsened gradually until he was socially unacceptable because of his aberrations. He vented his feelings of anger and frustration by heaping abuse upon his daughter, whom he came to see as the cause of all his troubles. The deteriorating mental condition of Margiela's father caused her as much concern for his health as for her own safety. In trying to reason him into a relatively calm demeanour, she found herself threatened with dire punishment. Given over to complete madness, the father raged at the daughter in such a torrent of abuse that she fled from the house, taking to the hills. This action so enraged the madman that he followed in hot pursuit. While seeking a hiding place, Margiela fell between two rocks and became wedged between them, helpless before the vengeful maniac who killed his own child on the spot. While still mourning the death of the pious Margiela, an islander visited the site of the fateful, fateful rocks where she died. There he made the startling discovery that water was exuding from between these rocks where there had been none before. Soon the entire island came to know that not only was there water coming from the spot, but that it contained miraculous powers of healing. The community then reassessed the piety of the beautiful Margiela, and with the conviction that she was a true martyr, they erected a chapel to her loving memory. Islanders tell the story that the rocks in the immediate area of the sacred site have turned blood red, and in some instances quite black, as though symbolic of the blood of the martyrs of Christianity. Pilgrimages to this site have continued unabated ever since the discovery, particularly on July 22nd, the day on which Margiela met death. This divine manifestation is unique principally because Margiela was not the typical homespun poor peasant girl, but rather a beautiful, aristocratic and highly intelligent girl. Furthermore, although her Christian zeal was made evident through various overt acts of Christian charity and belief, she was of no religious order nor the favourite of any recognised religious authority. But there is no question that this girl had an intimacy with God which is evidenced by the miraculous occurrence at the site where she was murdered by a father whom she might have placated with the disavowal of Christ. <laughs>